Today we'll pick out some cute costumes and go to the jack-o'-lantern. There's also the shortest ghost story you've ever seen. Let's go pick out some costumes. So we're here at Fashion Runway. I think we'll do like two versions of each outfit, let's say. This is our glamorous old school witch. And now we have a cute and colorful witch. The accessory, uh, the cat is an accessory. Now we have Two Brides of Frankenstein. This is a movie from 1935. I believe the hair was based on a bust of Queen Nefertiti. All right. So now we'll go to some other looks, just changing swatches and accessories. We swapped the hat here, different swatch. Added some wings here, now she's a bat. Change the color here, she can be an angel or a not angel. All right, so let's see what we have for the gentleman. We have two spellcasters here. Beautiful coat, a lot of detail. Two vampires here. All right, and they have two swatches here for uh, spellcasters. We added a pirate hat to our first vampire. Now he is a pirate king. For the second one, we're leaving him as a vampire. We're just adding top hat and glasses. All right, we're looking at uh, Rococo fashions here. The first is by Cant the Sims, very customizable. We'll tell you about that in a moment. The other two are obviously modern takes uh, on Rococo style. <laughs> when we did um, <laughs> when we did the Rococo uh, episode, she, we thought she's a plausible vampire. She's going in the Halloween uh, episode. All right, so here is a Cant the Sims uh, collection. Very customizable, we're not gonna do it in uh, detailed explanation, but basically you change um, the hair, the hats, there's jewelry, uh, you change the form of the dress, um, you can go into accessories and accessorize it any way you like. All right, back to the fashion runway. She looks beautiful, that took 30, 30 seconds. Here are some um, other swatches. Okay, they're on break while we go over to the Jack-O-Lantern Club. That's where they're going tonight. We saw this in the gallery, thought that's cute. We just added a few things. How is there a fire already? Goodness sake. All right, well, anyway, uh, chaos averted. Um, we're, going to go, we're going to go here for some Halloween treats. We're going to have cookies and cakes. The cookbook in the back is by Somic and Severinka. She's decorating some cookies here. Cake is edible as well. We added a photo. Actually, we added a section for photos, but had no lights, so I put some lights in there. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so um, there are three floors in here. Uh, we're gonna have a photo booth here, some uh, photo studio, a kitchen. There's going to be a dance floor, seating. Um, there is a mezzanine for live music, a concert stage above. We added an attic or storeroom. That's where the ghost story is going to be at the end of this episode. All right, back to the fashion runway. We have some 17th century gentlemen here from the court of uh, the Sun King, Louis XIV. These, I believe, are actually from a video game. Did not know that. This is uh, from the Order 1886, something like that. Takes place in alternate uh, history London, apparently. Okay, now we have two sorceresses. One is maybe very friendly and helps you out if you've been turned into a toad. The other one probably turned you into a toad. The crow, by the way, is an accessory. Now we have our two nymphs. One is wearing a petal dress um, and the hair flowers are part of the same package. These are two separates here on the second one. The flowers in the second one's hair are from a different uh, creator. All right, let's look at some other looks for our sorceresses. Very ornate, beautiful dress. Uh, there's a patch that's gone wrong in the front. We covered it with some accessorized um, flowers. You might have to think about that if you're using this uh, particular outfit. We have a slinky sorceress with her owl familiar or her pet. We just changed uh, the color here. She's a flower child. We added some daisies. And this nymph has a, flower, um, a 
flower crown and two separate pieces. There are some different looks. Also, we're thinking a lot of people are interested in fairies. Maybe we'll have some fairies in here. If, um, well, we added body paint here at the wigs you saw from earlier, but there is actually a way to add animated wings. So tell you what, let's go make two fairies and then we'll explain it. So you do actually need to put the mod uh, in the script mo in the mods folder, uh, not in a subfolder. Just put it in directly the script mod. We're just actually while we're here, we're changing them into fairy queens. Instead of Halloween colors, we're using like plum and moss and iris and buttercup, acorn <laughs> for your fairy queen. Okay, so you, it's a little bit tricky. Once it's in the mods folder, you do shift and then left click to select the wings menu select the wings you want and they're outfitted and they walk around like this all day long it's very cute there is a problem though we did get a last exception error last time we used this we would not advise using the mod right now wait until it's patched but there is a way to add animated wings if you do want them in your game we're just giving you a look at what they look like live all the costumes that we've seen here I think we have two more batches. These are two gladiators, uh, one citizen and one gladiator. The first one is full body outfit, the second one is separates. And the second one is full body outfit, uh, cat costume. Here we just wanted to see if the cat costumes were unisex, they are. And if you looked at a thumbnail and wanted the uh, space costume and the Barbie, we just wanted to give you a live view. Alright, they're headed over to the jack-o'-lantern. See you there!